morning, everybody. It's quarter to 11 here in Salmon Arm and a little bit cloudy and I'm out in the solarium because this is my favorite painting spot because the light is so good and even if it's cooler outside, it's always nice here. And so this is for everybody that is going to try a painting job and I'm encouraging, I'm encouraging you to do it because once you get into it, it's so relaxing. You put some nice music on and you get your painting job and you just try it. And it's not a big expense because the paint, you can get at any store for a couple dollars. Uh, and hey, let's get into it. And thank you for joining me. Okay, I have just started, but I wanted to show you what I have done. Now, I didn't want to do the background. On the seat of the chairs is a black background, which I didn't want to do because <laughs> Jack said it was too gothic for us. So, And I agree, I agree. So we left lots of color and music and everything. So um, the first thing I did was paint the background. And I was trying to match up the the color of the wood as the background. So uh, I'm using the leaf pattern but I'm matching up. So what I used was my first colors was a mixture of violet oxide and dark chocolate. Violet oxide is a kind of a mauvey red and dark chocolate and I just mixed them and I have all acrylic here just just the little cheap tubes and uh, I did a whole coat of that and when that dried I put on some brown hue with a deep burgundy and I didn't mix it very well. I left it, the brown streaks in the burgundy kind of showing so that if you looked at this it would be streaky like the chairs. So then I said okay Carolyn it's time to design our leaves. So um, these leaves on a chair, the black shows through on the center stem of the leaves and uh, let's see if I can get there. You might be able to close up on that, but these chairs are heavy. Okay, so um, if you paint leaves, you don't want to, I just, I'll show you what I did. Okay, I have one of these microwave circle things. They're great. So you put whatever painting project you have on there. And then I had I took some heavy plastic. It was actually a bag of uh, flowers came in from a grocery store and I I saved it and uh, I I could trace. I could see easy to trace. So no matter what you're painting over your original background. You want to uh, trace it with something you can see good. And, and I tried tracing paper, but it, it didn't really show up. So I went with this clear, hard plastic. I just drew it with a, a pen, and then I cut it out. So then, as you see, I put it on here, and I traced it with just a felt pen, a green one I used. And so I have some different sizes that I did. I did some small ones. So I've started to put some on, but I'll be, you know, filling it in. Not completely, but I will be filling it in. I, have, I might let some overlap. So that's how I did that. So, so far we're very simple. Um, it's just like coloring in a coloring book and it's so fun. It's so relaxing. Take some time, put your favorite music on and and just send paint, even if it's just a picture. You'll be surprised what you can do, and the more you do that, the more, I don't know, everything starts churning, you get all this uh, um, artistic endeavors going on in your head. So, okay, so um, then I took some, it's called soft moss, because I want to keep these leaves quite light. So I took soft moss and this little brush here and I just followed along the design where I traced with the pen. 
and I dump some in there, put a little teeny bit of water in it, and uh, I took the same brush and I just scrubbed the paint on like that. But I didn't go into the center where the center of the leaf on the chair is darker. I didn't spot you do. It's not science. And it, go look at like Monet's paintings or any of the a lot of them. It's it's actually more about how color affects you, and and your brain. It's kind of like if you get an email on. Uh, words that are all backwards and yet your brain puts them together and you can read the whole thing. It's kind of like that because when you look at it, you know it's a leap. So your brain has figured that out. So what you want is the color to have the message. So I went with the dark, vibrant background. And then I'm going to go with the light. I'll put on more leaves and do the same thing. And then I want um, what's, this is buttermilk. Oh, what else do I have there? Here's a kind of, maybe sandstone. I kind of will try sandstone. It's kind of a, a greeny gray. Or I might use a little bit of white too. So then what I'll do is I'll just outline the leaves on the outside edges to give it a little bit more definition and I and you can drag it into the center so even if you're not painting a leaf if you're painting something else you don't have to color it all in you just I didn't even play at it or try hard I just scribbled it on okay so we're doing good so I'm going to be filling in the leaves tracing them and do more of these because, and then I'll come and show you a clip of that part done. Because we already have, I want three dimensional. So we'll have the dark, the light, and then, of course, I have my dark plate. You see, I have this color here, almost here. And this is the color I like. So then, when I go to do a vine with some of these orchid drawings, they, uh, there won't be a lot of them, but I'm going to just lightly go over the top because this will be lightly green with some whites. And I'll lightly go over the top with some very elementary lines. And then we'll see what we got because then I think it'll be done and then it gets very thin. So I'll come back to you and show you how it's done. And I'm still encouraging you to try. So, uh, I'll see you when the next part's done. Good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, last time I saw you, I was about to put the plate design on the outside. I did not like it. You know, painting is so like life and a lot of other things because Sometimes you think it's going to go so smooth, and it is, and then you get a stumbling block. But it's what you do with that stumbling block. Okay, I really didn't like the, the mine on the outside. It was very elementary. <laughs> I said it's very easy to do. Very Well, anyway, so I don't, you never know when you're painting. Things can change. So um, what I've done is... I, w I went over it see if you have. Now, if you have some trouble, just acrylic paint is great. You can just paint over it. So I took my leaf design, but I didn't really trace it as such. I just drew a bunch of leaves over the other leaves and uh, threw some paint on almost Chinese style. I mean, I, I am not a trained artist or a schooled artist. I'm just, I like to, it is so relaxing. I, th that's why I'm showing you this is because if you just give it a try, you, you'll find, put your favorite music on, get some paint, just paint anything. And uh, it doesn't have to turn out great. It just have lots of colors, colors you like in your life. And just, Go with it because it's very therapeutic and 
you get to a stage where you just feel so good and like it was 9 o'clock in the morning and then it's lunchtime. Time flies so fast. So besides um, changing this from a very gothic uh, vase, we have now put something that actually looks very nice on the dining room table. It's not in there yet and the next time you see it in there, um, it will be finished. It, all it gets now is some acrylic water-based Verithane. And I'll probably put about three coats so that when I take it to give it a drench in the sink or whatever, outside, whatever, it's going to repel that water because that's what I use outside on all my stuff that has been there for years. And I have found that it uh, stands up to the weather and everything. So uh, I'll show you a close-up. Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing this because I want everybody to say, oh, it's great. <laughs> Thank you if you do, but uh, I'm doing this because I really want people that maybe haven't tried that, that tried painting or any artistic adventure. If there's something that you, you think you might like to try, go for it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the best. Um, it just has to be your enjoyment of doing it. Now this was just threw together and it looks actually quite wonderful on the table. And you'll find that out eventually. So I'll show you a close up. So as you can see, I just uh, made a forest of, of uh, leaves with the dark background. It actually looks really good with the uh, uh, chairs and now all I got to do is find an orchid which isn't going to be that easy so uh, I'm pleased I probably shouldn't be putting in that till the bear things on it I'll put it upside down it'll get its bear thing these are great so I'm all cleaned up from that because we get this project done I got some outside stuff I got to get caught up on before uh, winter and uh, then another chicken wire project so there goes the neighbor's truck <laughs> it's a diesel anybody got a diesel truck <laughs> anyway they're great people um he just kind of coasts out the driveway till he gets by which is off nice and uh, so i think that's about it and um, I'm going to try and join these to the other ones so you have a kind of montage of how this took place. And uh, finding orchids, that will be a challenge. I may have to go to Vernon or somewhere. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I went to um, a couple places in town and oh my goodness, you would, I would have loved to have filmed it and showed you because one was all dead and there was some kind of a spider web on it and the flower was just hanging and over at this big uh, garden center, the biggest one we have here, uh, the leaves were all hanging over and it was pretty sad so I'm not sure where I'm going to find orchid. Sometimes they'll bring a bunch in at one grocery store here and if you're quick you'll get one. So uh, that's that and please try some painting and I'd love to hear that you did and oh yeah there was oh I don't have the name of it there's a there's a probably if you googled um, cone shaped clay pots um, on Pinterest it might show up but in Tampa Florida there's a greenhouse that makes all their pots and they're all there's all these big long cone shaped pots with big holes and there's orchids in them for miles in this greenhouse and big round pots and you people that are in Tampa, Florida, I am jealous because I love to go there. I even sent them a little message to say, hey, do you send to British Columbia? But they said no. So, uh, <laughs> disappointment. So anyway, um, thank you and I really appreciate this. I enjoy it so much and uh, we'll see you again.